How are y'all doing? It's finally time to clean, seal up, and paint this 1965 John boat known as the Luma Can. Oh, we need some of this, people. Boom. Let's get this on that boat. I'm just going to fix this one because we're going fishing tomorrow. And this is going to be a test room for me. So the idea here is I'm going to do the really bad rivet first as a test run. We're going to take it on a fishing trip, see if we have any other leaks, and uh, that'll be it. We'll get started on this renovation. All right, the old Luma can. Got a few little spots here that it's not critical. She's not really leaking. I just want to read JB well. Bad ones like that right there. You see that's starting to become exposed. And then I'm probably going to come back with Flexi and do the whole thing too, so... So I tried to get a welder to re-weld a lot of stuff on this boat, but they said it's so old, it's too thin, that, you know, super light gauge aluminum, they said they would burn a hole in it. So the best thing would be JB Weld. And they've come out with a marine grade JB Weld, and I'm excited about it. Looks like it's gonna work well. The aluminum can needs sanding, and we gotta coat this bottom of the boat with this stuff. We're gonna try this tan truck bed liner on the bottom. It's going to seal the rivets, hopefully. We'll do the interior with probably flex seal, but we're going to start by just sanding around the rivets. This little guy here just got it from Amazon. See what we can do. <laughs> Teresa has some disinfecting wipes. That sounds good. This is disinfected. What do you say? I'm just looking for any way to clean it. It's just about time for this stuff. This is a 55 year old John boat that fishes just like it is. So everything I do after this just makes it more better. Coming out very splattered. I don't think it's going to go super far, so I better just do the bottom. I meant I better focus on the rivets because it's not going far. Back to I'm going to do all the problem areas first. We may have to get another can of this stuff, and it ain't cheap. There's not a whole lot in this can, let me tell you that. And that's it, folks. I think it would take about three cans to properly do this whole bottom of the boat if I was doing a serious job. One can on a 12 foot boat got me a light coating on the bottom. I went heavier on the rivets. I thought I'd get more out of it than that, but so what? It's gonna work. Back at the boat again. We gotta get these numbers off. They've been welded on there since 1972. I'm gonna get the sander on it, I think. are just part of the boat i'm sure there's some clever uh all you got to do is rub dirt on it and add some alcohol and spin in a circle three times and it comes right off and do it all the time but i don't know that trick so i'm just gonna sand as good as i can and paint right over it i ordered another can of that bed liner but let's not wait for it let's go ahead and move on to the sides Teresa really wants a seafoam green boat so let's give it to her white on the inside to keep it cooler I'm going to try this stuff back here first to make sure it's really going to coat and cover. That's what I'm worried about. Ah, it's going to cover it fine. The cool thing about this is you can always go get another can and fix it. Plenty good. She wanted two foams, so we see foaming. See if she approves. What do you think? I love it. I really like that color. I'm digging it. I better take off my good shirt. I told you, you better not wear that shirt. And I'm not driving all the way back to Naples, Florida to get you a new shirt. All right, we're about to the end of coat one. I have a can and a half left. And the first coat came on really thick, I think. See, that's already dry. No Rust-Oleum is, you know, six bucks a can. Those on thick, man. Look, this dry already. Round two. But sucking up the paint, what little I have left in this can, finish up the transom. I like it. You like the color? I do. I finally got to pick something. This is soaking up the paint, man. Sheesh. You see, foam, hope you're happy. Matches my mailbox. 
All right, y'all stay tuned. We got to put another coat of bed liner on that bottom end, and then we got to start on the interior before we're finished. See y'all next time.